Okay, so today we're looking at multiplying multi-digit numbers. We are going to start off with number 5 as an example, even though that is not one of your assigned problems. Start off with number 5. Uh, number 5 says we have 240 times 2. Where do I start with that? How am I going to get this started? Yep. Okay, the two times what? Zero. Two times zero is where I'm starting. So I'm doing two times zero and that gives me zero. Anything times zero is zero. Then where am I gonna go next? Lily? Two times four. Two times four and I get eight. Okay, and Nolan, what's my last step? Two times two. Two times two and I get four. Do I have to do anything else after that? No, no because I was multiplying by um, a single digit number. So that is my answer for number five. Okay, so we have 480. Let's do one that's got a little bit more to it. We're going to look at number, let's see, I want to pick one that wasn't assigned to you guys. So we'll just do number seven. Not super hard, but has a little bit more to it. So number seven, I now have 19 times 21. Does it matter which number I put on the top and which number I put on the bottom? No. Multiplication order does not matter. Um, it's commutative. You could move it around. Okay. There's going to be a little bit more work to this one. Where do I start this time? Where do I start this time? Vivian? This is number seven. One times nine. Okay. And what is that? Nine. Nine. Okay. And then I'm going to move and do what next? What am I going to do next? Somebody new. Yeah. One times one. one, times one. Okay, and when I do 1 times 1, I get 1. So I have 19. Do you guys agree that 1 times 19 is 19? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Michael? So it does make sense that 1 times 19 is 19. And if we were thinking about it using the visual models that they have over here, that's kind of like coming up with this section right here combined. That's what we just did. Now we need to come up with this section, okay? That's the next step. So to do that, we're multiplying everything by 20, okay? But really, we're just using two and we're putting in a placeholder. I like to call it laying an egg. We put in that placeholder because we've moved to the tens place. If we had moved to the hundreds place, how many zeros would we put in? Two, two zeros. Okay, two times nine is what, guys? 18, 18. so I need to go I need to put down an 8 and carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, 3. Now what do I do with these two numbers that I have? Lily? Add them together. Okay, so I've got 9 plus 0, which is what? 9. 1 plus 8, which is 9. And 3 plus 0, which is 3. So we have 399 as our answer. And that's it. Okay, so that is for multiplying uh, multi-digit numbers. When you're working on this, I do not care if you do this model or if you do the visual model style. However you want to do it, just make sure you are showing your work. So long division is probably going to be a struggle for most of you getting started. Um, so I tried to stick to mostly single digit problems. You do have a couple of du double digit problems. Uh, or where your divisors are double digits. Um, number 10 and 11 in particular are going to be tricky. We're going to do one of those together. Um, we're going to start off, though, with number 9. Okay, so we're doing two of the problems that you're assigned together. We're going to start off with number 9. We have 2,894 being divided by 9. Nine goes outside of the house is how I like to phrase it. And then, here, let me give myself a little bit more space. Nine goes outside of the house and 2,894 goes inside of the house. So when you start off, you're wanting to see, I like to call it the goes into's or goes in does. How many times does nine go into two? 
does it? Can nine go into two? No. So we're gonna put a zero, and this is where your multiplication chart comes in handy. Now we need to figure out how many times nine goes into 28. So this is where you're gonna look at your multiplication chart, okay, you're gonna look at your nines, and you're gonna find the number that's smaller than 28 or equal to 28, and but closest to it. Yep. Nine times three, nine times three and that equals what? 27. 27. So nine times three, for this part, you're just doing that multiplication. You're writing nine times three is 27. And then we're subtracting that, okay? And if I subtract that, what do I have left over? Just one, okay. Now, am I done? No, what do I have to do next? Grant, what am I gonna do next to keep going? Okay, almost, we're gonna bring down that nine. And we're going to see how many times 9 goes into 19. Okay, so we're looking at our planner, looking down those 9s again. Knowing your 9s is really going to help for this type of a problem. Okay, what do, what do you have, Megan? How many times do you think 9 goes into 19? Eight, 18 is the number you came up with, which is 9 times what? 2. Two. Okay, so she says, hey, I know that 18 is on my chart. That's really close to 19, but not quite there. 9 goes into 18, or 19, twice. And 9 times 2 is 18. Now we're subtracting that. So we're doing subtraction again. What do I have left over? 1. Okay, and that next step, Serena, is to bring down what number? Four. The 4. Okay, and we're done after this step. We've brought down all of the numbers. I mean, we're not quite done, but we're done with this part of it. How many times does 9 go into 14? Grant? Nine. Just once. And what's 1 times 9? Nine, and this is the point where you can't do any more. 14 minus nine is five. Okay, when we get to our decimal chapter, we are gonna do more. We're gonna add a decimal and add some zeros and continue on. But for now, this is your answer with, no, oh, it's not a very big highlighting. That's your answer with this as a remainder. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite that. Our answer to that problem equals 321 with a remainder of five. And that's how we're gonna write our answer for those problems. Okay, a lot of these do not have remainders. Um, they're nice, pretty answers. Well, mm, yeah, okay. Some of them have remainders, but a lot of them I gave you the, at least the ones, the ones digit to help out. Okay, the next one that we are going to do together is number 10. Number 10, because that one's going to require some goofy stuff. Okay, so I'm going to erase my work for that. And we're going to do number 10 together. Oh, man. Um, somebody help them out. Was it 323 with a remainder of 5? 321 with a remainder of 5. 321 with a remainder of 5. Make sure we're following along. Okay, so now we're doing number 10. Okay, at number 10 we have 414 divided by 46. Forty-six goes outside of the house. Four hundred and fourteen goes inside of the house. Now, this is where it's going to get tricky. How many times does 46 go into 4? None. None. How many times does 46 go into 41? None. None. Okay, so now we're already all the way to the last digit. Um, and this is where we're going to have to do some estimating. So if I thought of 46 as 50, would that help me? Can I count by 50s pretty easily? Yeah. Okay, so let's do some math. We go 50, 100, 150. 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. Okay, so times 8 would be close to 400. So we're going to do a little scratch work down at the bottom. We're going to see what 46 times 8 is. So this is where we're using, using what we used on the other page. Okay, we're going to do 46 times 8, and we're going to see what that's equal to. What's 6 times 8? 
Six times eight. 48. So we're going to put the eight here, carry the four. Four times eight? 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, counting the other ones. Okay, so we have 368. That's pretty close to 414, but let's see if we do 46 times nine. Okay, we could also just add 46 to that answer there, but let's try 46 times nine and see what we get. What's six times nine? Nolan? 54. What's four times nine? Uh, Vivian? No, it's not 54. Ah, close, Lily. 36. 36. And then we're going to add five. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Hey, look at that number. 414. Okay, so using that information... If we had done the wrong number, let's say we had put 8 here and we had 368 here, when we subtracted, we would have had 46 left. And that would have been your hint. If this number is equal to or greater than that number, you did something wrong. So we tried out 9 and we found out, hey, that works perfectly. So sometimes you've got to do a little multiplication to be able to figure out these problems. Okay, so our answer is just 9. Okay, now we're going to use the rest of the time to work on those problems and get help. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.